Alright everybody, uh, welcome to my first video <laughs> of 2013. This is <laughs> Light 'em Up, <laughs> the top 10 Halo figures that I own, well, out of the whole line because I basically have all of them ex except the exclusives. So, let's start this off with a bang. I'm going to get the obvious choice out of the way and say that number 10 is Carter, the leader of Noble Team. <laughs> Wait a minute. So it's a Carter, Noble Team's a leader. I like this figure a lot because of the blue. Let me see if I move him a little closer. So I like him a lot because of his blue armor. Um, I like the shoulder pauldron on the side a lot. And um, I like that his armor is asymmetrical. He also has a whole bunch of markings like that um, white and red symbol on his chest. He also has a red stripe on his leg. We got these lights. <laughs> Let me turn off my headlight. So yeah, <laughs> I like the the armor a lot. So much so that this is like the third Carter that I own. So Carter is number ten, but that also includes his uh, unhelmeted version. Um, later releases had what I like to call the clean pauldron over here on the side. And some of them even had a almost silver paint app to, um, to the gray on his armor. This second release of Carter has the added benefit that his um, knee articulation has been improved. Not by much, but it's better than the old Carter's um, knee articulation. And incredibly, this is the only unhelmeted member of Noble Team that has a different weapon. He's the only one. Everyone else comes with the same weapons they were packaged with before. But Carter, he gets the Spartan Laser. You can still find Carter at Toys R Us's and sometimes Rite Aid's everywhere <laughs> coming in at number nine is this guy this is the the white JFO from Walgreens this is a Walgreens exclusive at the beginning of this year at the beginning of the I guess the middle of the year when they were released a lot of Walgreens stores didn't carry him and I used to go on the mad hunt looking for him a lot. But eventually, um, around the holidays, more Walgreens started stacking him in and um, you can find him. I've heard that he's also showed up at some discount stores, which is odd. But given that he's also showed up on uh, Spawn.com. It looks like Walgreens didn't really want them. <laughs> they carried a few and they said, nah, we don't want the rest. So this is number nine. I like I liked the color white. I don't like his wash. It's a little too dirty for my taste. I did do a custom where um, I painted him with a white Gundam marker. But because I'm not an expert painter, a lot of the details are gone. So, number nine, the white JFO from Walgreens. Coming in at number eight, Ocho, is the Spartan Security from Toys R Us. This guy's a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, I wasn't too keen on buying him at first because um, <laughs> Toys R Us has their 
um, Halo figures close to $20. It's like nineteen. 1895 or 1998 in some places they still have series 6 for that price but when they reduced series 5 down to uh, 1298 I decided you know what let me pick this guy up this is like the third guy that I have he's still in package but he's one of my um like I guess loose for the collection I'm supposed to have an opening party I like the 3D render here. It's really cool. Makes him look bulky. And he comes with a grenade launcher. Which um, not a lot of single fit came with. So, 10, 9, number 8. <laughs> Spartan Security from Toys R Us. Coming in at numbers... Um, <laughs> At number seven and six. Number seven is the White Spartan Mark 5B, which I reviewed as Tom. I have the I have the figure put away, but I don't have a picture of him. So I'm I'm gonna have to say that before finding out about that figure, um I I wanted to like ask McFarland on their Facebook page that they should make a Tom figure from the Deliver Hope trailer for Halo Reach. But to my surprise, they already had a figure. So eventually I picked them up on eBay. This figure comes with the, um, I think it's a Pearl, um, a Pearl Elite Ultra as a two-pack this was part of series one so right now he's hard to find i only own one of this figure i wish i could own more coming in at number six is not this guy but <laughs> this guy the yellow has up so he's coming in at number number six the thing is, I like the Hazop because it looks like a, a skull. Uh, I think there's like a, an add-on in the Halo Reach game where you can have your figure have like a flaming skull. So it's basically like Ghost Rider in Halo. Um, he does look like a skeleton sucking on a, on a Bobo, <laughs> on a pacifier. But the, I like the color yellow because not a lot of Spartans came in yellow. Um, I did make a custom and I decided to paint them yellow because I thought it was a rare color in the line. And lo and behold, then I find out there's a yellow Spartan has up and there's a yellow Mark 5B that comes with a cyan um has up as part of an airborne pack so number number six is the yellow has up which i got off of ebay but um i don't think i got his old dmr with the little the little protecting thing for the hand number six is voila the elite miner wart 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 yep wart wart and all that <laughs> the reason i like this figure is because of the blue and his pointy hat he's also um one of the grunts so you encounter him i mean he's a, like a foot soldier of the elites so in the game you encounter him a lot if i would have gotten into the line early I would have um, bought more of these guys. But I think a, the store Adventures Underground might still have some of these guys in stock. You can check their website. Or um, maybe somebody in Seattle might be able to help you out. I do like this picture from the back of the card of the um, Elite. It makes him look hulking. Like the shoulders. 
are way above the head. So, real cool. I've yet to review this guy and open him up. I do wish that he would have came with this plasma gun instead of the, the needler that he does come with. So that's it for number five. Number six is Cat. Cat um, is a peg warmer <laughs> in both her forms, uh, her Series 6 and her Series 2. Um, up until last year, I was able to find Cat at a Rite Aid and pick her up. I do wish that they would have given her an assault rifle instead of just uh, giving her the little the little magnum. But in terms of paint, she's really good. she's really good. I like the how the white stripe is weathered. And here you have uh, some three D art. Her unhelmeted version, right here, is uh, just as popular, warming the pegs. I do like that, um, she, she's, <laughs> for someone in armor, she still looks feminine, even with the boyish pixie haircut, a la Anne Halfway. but... I don't know why. I I guess because she's a girl. Not not everybody's gonna play with her. Collectors will buy her to have her, but kids on the street are not gonna ask for a, a girl toy. It's just they don't want to be playing with a doll. <laughs> but I do wish that they would have made more Spartan women in the line. Coming in at number three is Spartan Gungnir or Old Robot Head, as I like to call him. I I like this art here on the side, which is very cool, and it makes him look bulky. But you don't see that he has a robot arm, so. When I saw that he had a robot arm, I was immediately turned off. It wasn't until I started getting into Halo Halo Reach that I decided to pick him up. And he's become one of my favorites. Coming in at number three. Wait. Yeah, he's number three. So he's become one of my favorites. He comes with this bazooka, which is pretty hard to uh, put in their hands. But you can you can modify their hands to hold guns using an exacto knife and a hair dryer. I do like the asymmetricalness of it. He has this big security pauldron on one side and the little mark the little aerosol um thingy on this side. So number three Spartan Gungnir. Coming in at number two is the Elite Ranger. I'm not a fan of the Elites because of their four mandibles. But this guy, he takes the cake because of his helmet. He kind of looks like something out of Alien. <laughs> but... I've never tried opening the head. I, I might do that on one of my customs. But you can see that there is a fully sculpted head in the bottom of this guy. There's some dust. <laughs> but he does look like something out of Alien. And if you look at this um, 3D art, he looks very cool with his jetpack and his, um, his rifle. I do like that he's um he's pearl white with no wash, no ugly wash, I guess because in space there's no dirt. But and I do say but a lot. 
<laughs> I I really like this figure. If I could army build elites, I would uh, army build this guy. After the um, elite miner. <laughs> but... <laughs> after... So... He was really hard to find. I only saw him like once or twice in in stores. Being a bad guy, um, they weren't they weren't made a lot. They were made in less numbers. So the the covenants got made less than the Spartans. Elite Ranger comes in at number two. He's my favorite elite of the whole line. And lastly, number one, don't drum roll. <laughs> we got uh, a big mama jamma, the brute chieftain. Why, why the chieftain from all the brutes? Well, the brute chieftain has the goatee, which is awesome. He has his little tribal hat, which is it doesn't look dumb like the elite miner's hat, and it's not eternally stuck on like the, I mean the, like the elite miner, the elite major is the guy who has the the dumb hat. He comes with the most awesome weapon of all time, the gravity hammer, which is back here, if you can see it. His 3D art isn't impressive, but I do have fond memories of going out and toy hunting for this guy. Thanks to Toys210, when I saw his review and I saw he was like the biggest action figure in the Halo Reach line out there. He's the biggest of the brutes. I said, you know, I gotta get this guy. And I think last February, during a snowy day, I went all the way into Brooklyn and got him from Target. They had to bring him out from the back. I wanted to see if they also had the Spartan Operator, which is the rarest figure that I own. Only seen him once. I bought him and never seen him again. Maybe, he, I'm sure he's on eBay, but I only saw him once in all my toy hunting days. I've seen the brute mage, the brute chieftain, a couple of times, and when Toys R Us reduced the price from 18 to 12, I picked two up, but then I had to return them. Uh, <laughs> so number one, the brute chieftain. If there is one Halo figure that you must get, it's this guy. I want to give two shout-outs. <laughs> To um, the worst <laughs> of the Halo Reach line. First up is the worst figure. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> the worst figure of the line is the Skirmisher. Because of the way that their legs are designed, they have trouble standing. And I don't think there's a fix in the world that can, that can make them stand decent that I know of. I thought um I did think of using the double sided scotch tape as a base, but even that doesn't hold up. They'll only stand up for a while but not forever. So you got the skirmisher Murmijo Murmijo and the Skirmisher Miner. They're both the same figure but they've been um the Murmijos have been painted differently and he comes with a different gun this one has kind of gray and doesn't come with the awesome helmet so that's the worst figure of the halo line and to top it off the worst concept <laughs> hey look at me <laughs> the worst concept is the I don't know about the Spartan, but the Spec Ops is is bad. His foot broke, 
his leg broke, his neck broke in two pieces, and, but his arms are okay, <laughs> and his mid torso. I don't know what it is, but when I took them apart with my fun with hair dryers, as you can see, there's look 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 at this right here. There's a liquid that comes off the plastic. What happens with this liquid, it dries up. And then when you go to move your figure, psh, snappy mix snapperson. I used um, a special glue and I was able to keep the legs and the feet on. But um, he took a fall and more of them broke. This is why you still see this thing in um, <laughs> Rite Aids everywhere. And he was the last peg warmer to go from Target. They reduced them as low as 13 something. 13.95, I think. But this is a figure that you must avoid. If you want a Spec Ops, get the, the regular Spec Ops from Series 2. But this translucent guy, no. I don't know if this happens with uh, with the Spartan because there's a a Noble Six that comes with a with a camouflage um, translucent version of Series One of Noble Six. So, if anyone knows if that figure has the same problem, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> This is Aries0083 saying Happy New Year and I hope everything goes well for you and yours. Keep on trucking and work hard and 2013 will be successful for you. I'm going to bust my butt. <laughs> Bye.